Once you get over the limitations in Microsoft's OneNote, you'll be able to get more out of the application. The infinite pages, lack of a recycle bin on the iPad, and the inconsistencies across different platforms are some of the reasons most of us shy away from OneNote. What if you had more reasons to use the application than avoid it? Hey guys, it's Robsy back with Paperless X, a channel that is all about digital productivity. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic one, welcome back. OneNote is a free application. It is not part of the Microsoft 65 package because it is a standalone application. For the free version, you get 5 gigabytes free for your OneDrive storage. That is because OneNote stores and accesses all your notes from OneDrive. You can get more storage by getting a Microsoft 365 plan, which will give you one terabyte storage for your application. And there are a few ways you can get it for free. The first one, if you're a student or an educator and you have a .edu mail, or you can get it through your education institution. And you can also get it for free if you have a device that is less than 10.1 inches. OneNote is the only note-taking application in its category that is available on iPadOS, macOS, Windows, and Android. These are the most popular operating systems. If you use at least two of these, you will want an application that is available on all of these platforms. With OneNote though, each platform has unique features that you will need to learn to get the most out of the application. For example, to recover deleted pages, you will need a desktop version of the application. OneNote's infamous infinite pages have one perk. You can insert space between sections of your notes. You can insert the space horizontally to add more information between already existing notes. And you can also add space vertically to create a margin and add more notes on the side. This allows you to have your notes exactly where you want them. You can insert tables into your notes. It's best to keep them small because you can't add multiple rows and multiple columns. Your width is not fixed. It depends on the amount of text you add to a cell. And it is also affected by the text box size, which gives you some control over how your tables look. All things considered, not many note-taking applications can create tables, so we'll take what we get. Even though your attachments are limited to 100 megabytes in OneNote, you can add a wide range of them. You can add audio files, videos, stickers, PDFs. OneNote can attach any file to your notes, so it can act as a file managing app for you if that is something that's important for your note-taking process. If you're working with limited storage, it's better to link to your attachments. You can add links to your notes. OneNote supports true dark mode, which automatically switches the colors in your notes as you toggle between light and dark mode. Not many note-taking applications have true dark mode. OneNote lets you add reminders and tasks to your sticky notes without leaving the application, so you can quickly note something you need and keep it on your screen so you don't forget it. Your sticky notes can be any of the available seven colors, which is cool, and you can color code them in a way that you like. So these sticky notes allow you to stay in the application and note things as they come, more like, you know, the quick note in Apple Notes. OneNote's unique PDF experience is great with small PDFs and lecture slides. The application treats PDFs like images. That means it does not recognize hyperlinks or outlines, but you can print out documents to display all its pages in the application. Once printed out, each page in the PDF is a separate standalone page. You can resize, rotate, and even move individual pages in your PDF. When there isn't enough space for PDF annotation, you can write on the OneNote canvas. This means you will never run out of space to write on. Set picture as background locks the PDF image on the canvas to avoid accidentally moving your page, which can easily mess up your notes. Most note-taking applications add pages, whole pages. In OneNote, you can add just the amount of space you need between your PDF pages. 
You can extract your meeting details from Outlook if you prefer staying in the Microsoft ecosystem. This will help you quickly get started on your meeting notes in the application. You also get to see your upcoming meetings without leaving the application and students can use this as well. The immersive reader in OneNote converts your handwriting to text and reads out your notes for you. It might be faster than reading your notes yourself. You can change the settings to choose how you want your notes to display in this window. The application can read out quite a lot of languages. Chances are you will find your language. To get the most out of OneNote, you must use it on several devices. The best user experience you'll get out of the application is on a Windows device. Avoid creating large pages. Though the application supports an infinite canvas, it handles smaller pages better. Try to limit each page size to a little larger than an A4 paper size. Avoid sharing pages out of the application. It's better to invite people to your notebook because exporting out of the application is quite a painful experience. We hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Let us know what other kinds of applications you'd like us to cover on this channel. Thank you, fantastic human, for watching. See you in the next video.